Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the Tenu portable electric vehicle charger. This is also called an EVSA. Uh, it's a portable charging station for your electric vehicle, for your plug-in hybrid electric vehicle or for your electric car. Uh, this brings some uh, several advantages, although a lot of people will say that these are slow. These are not meant for fast charging, these are meant for home usage and they bring several advantages along with that. So I will now unbox it and I'm going to tell you the advantages of using such system. First of all, you can actually have a delay when the car starts charging. So you arrive at home, you plug this in, but it's going to have a delay. That's very good if you have uh, different payment for electricity, such as uh, electricity being cheaper at midnight, you can program this so it charges at midnight. Also, when you are traveling or you have a poor electric uh, wiring in your home, this thing can adjust the charging current so you can charge slower, but that is not going to burn down your house, which is very important. Especially, of course, when you are also traveling and you don't know the electricity, uh, the electric capacity of uh, where you want to charge as long as you get permission to charge. So like going on camping and you have an uh, wiring there that is rated for lower amps you can still use this charge lower but you are not damaging anything last but not least if you have a let's call a plug-in electric hybrid vehicle which charges slow because that's how they charge uh, this thing can charge actually much more slower than the original charger you can set this up and that is going to protect the drive battery from uh, degradation so the battery degradation will be partially lower if you charge slower uh, there is a discussion here that uh, uh, newer batteries can be charged fast and there is no such a big degradation but slower charging is always better for lithium ion batteries that are equipped in most cars and also there are other type of battery chemistries but usually charging slower is better of course if you are not in a hurry right so in the box you are going to get a travel bag where you can put the charger you can put the cables this is a big pouch it's like a backpack it also has straps so you can take this on a backpack with you interesting choice you can fit all of that there and a lot more others and for such a big charger we get a very tiny manual but uh, don't worry it's in uh, several languages it's color printed and gives you all the information that you need to start this device and to be able to use it further on we take it out of here a charging connector comes with a rubber cap when you are not using it so it stays nice and clean and dry and I'm going to remove this extra packaging we have here some guide quick guide with the LED colors of uh, this device because it flashes it changes colors and you can pause the video to read all of that if you want to so when you plug this in uh, I was telling you about uh, shady electrics so I'm using very bad here extension cable to show you some things for instance this is a pretty smart device because it's going to check if this has grounding which is very important and now i do not have grounding on this very important stuff there then uh, you can see several other stuff such as the temperature of the device and the device have a internal temperature sensor and uh, temperature protection if it overheats it knows that and it can shut down to protect itself and the cables and everything else then you also see the exact amount of current that you are drawing that you have put in the charge and so on and what's happening and it also has a built-in voltage meter so i should have actually 220 volts at this outlet but right now the electricity supplier as you can see it's allowing the network to run at 242 volts so a bit more than normal but still in uh, the admitted parameters for this uh, area so uh, from these two buttons that are not buttons that are just touch buttons you can actually touch delay and hold touch delay and you are going to see that it changes here on the screen and now you can actually touch it 
to introduce a delay for how much you want so you arrive at home and then you know how much delay you want to have until the car starts to charge then if you do not want delay you can set it to zero holding this again for several seconds going to resume going back with the safe settings which is now zero as you can see this is green it's ready and it's idle because it's not doing anything then the same goes for the current you can touch and hold current here for a several seconds and then you can actually now touch the charge and select the charge current so i'm going to leave it on the lowest 8 amp so i'm going to hold again the charge until it's saved also this remains saved so you don't have to change that each time when you are charging and just like that it should be saved so let's plug this to the car you can get this charger in several types of uh, outlets car charging ports or call them whatever uh, such as type 2 and so on but my car uses type 1 very old but i have brought here my trusty adapter which converts type 1 into type 2 doesn't look very nice but it gets the job done so i'm going to plug this and now we are going to resume back to the charger and there we go we see here what's happening so we get 1.8 kilowatt hour charging actually 1.8 kilowatt instant power it has put already 0.01 kilowatt hour into the battery uh, the 8 amp current set it's actually a real 7.9 amps and you can see here some voltage drop because of the outlets the extender and all the electric problems around so very useful to set that amount of current because if i set this for uh, 16 amps probably i'm going to blow the fuses or put the house on fire uh, so that's really nice to have this you can charge slower you can char charge safer you can charge at night time and save some money so very useful not only for plug-in hybrids but also for electric vehicles that get power uh, at night time and you are not in a hurry or you are camping or traveling around and you are permitted to charge but not very fast uh, and they give you a normal outlet then you can have this with you it's not very big as you can see it's rather compact you have that nice bag it has several meters of uh, cables but this one is very short for the outlet Further on, not related directly to this charger, but you get a confirmation from the dashboard from my car that in 6 hours and 45 minutes the battery is going to get full. You can see it only has there just one bar. That one bar is just the buffer capacity. It means that uh, if I hook up some OBD device, it's going to show zero, false zero. So it means that it actually still has about 30% hidden there in the battery. But to get from that to 100%, which is actually 90 to 95% of the battery state of charge, real state of charge, is going to take that. But it's going to represent full battery bar here. So 100% fake battery capacity. So pretty fast for a slow charger because if you are going to charge such as uh, 5 amps this is going to take about 10 hours so depending on the current you get faster speeds if i'm going to use the 10 amp or uh, 16 amps it's going to charge a lot more faster of course but uh, it can be a trouble for the electric network another few interesting things so if you are going to hold the delay and uh, current buttons pressed touch actually you can actually change the mode where uh, this uh, verifies that um, you are grounded and not and you can still charge even if you don't have ground it's on your risk but this will accept charging that way so if your uh, electric network doesn't have any kind of grounding it's going to still charge your car without any kind of issues but you get a warning because it's not 100 percent safe further on there is a small error here in the manual it says that uh, um, you should uh, during charging do not unplug the power plug of or charging port that makes no sense i actually talked with the producer for this and they wanted to say that if you want to stop charging if something happens you are in a rush you don't have to wait you uh, 
actually have a problem with the electricity network and so on there is no problem pulling this out of your car it's very important actually not to pull that when this is still connected to the car so unplug the car first then unplug the power and it's all okay so that was it for now i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this video i'm going to leave here a link below where you can get this it's actually very cheap and as you can see it's very useful and smart does the job and you can set it up as you wish for your uh, car until my next video see you and bye bye